Hi, I'm Dr. Bertie Sperry and I want to tell you a story. Years ago, uh, when I first moved to Savannah, my sister manager, Janine, and I had an art gallery and we would um, use all the proceeds from the gallery to help families in need. Uh, we'd get families moved into houses. We'd help them stay in the house they had. We, we helped in whatever way we could. We'd help furnish, we'd paint, we'd do all kinds of things. And we had friends who would come by and support us in this work. They would contribute money. They'd give up old furniture. They would do whatever they could do to support this work that we were doing. It was really good work. And from time to time, we'll see those families and they're doing well. One of the friends who helped us out was a woman named Nancy who had an amazing singing voice. And on nights when we'd celebrate these families, we'd have music and she'd come in and sing and she'd contribute and she'd share in whatever she had. And she was just a wonderful part of our community. Well, Nancy got sick and was in hospice dying. And I went by to see her. And I went daily. And there was always this group of people there. They had a keyboard in the corner and they would sing to Nancy. Um, Nancy at this point couldn't sing anymore, but these beautiful people were singing to her. And there was one woman who would get in the bed with her and say, this is my oldest friend in the world. And she would just hug her and they would sing. Now, Nancy had become such good friends of ours and such a good supporter. I, I actually officiated at her son's wedding. Um, I met her daughter-in-law first and I met the son on the same day the two of them met and we were like oh y'all are getting married y'all are getting married so I officiated at the wedding so I was there every day and these beautiful women singing to her and and just having a good time with her every single day until she passed and I was like wow that was just one more beautiful person in Savannah and she was really part of the history of Savannah. In fact, she's the niece of Johnny Mercer. Well, years later, um, my mom had passed away and life had moved. And I started going to this Episcopal church, Christ Church Episcopal. And I had probably been there two years. And one Sunday, this woman is coming down the steps. We're leaving church. She's coming down the steps and the sun hit her face in such a way that I recognized her. And I recognized her as the woman who was Nancy's best friend who would get in that bed with her. And I realized that those people who were coming to sing with her every day were members of Christ Church. And I was now attending the same church In a way, Nancy was pointing the way to Christ Church for me. This beautiful woman who didn't know us from anywhere and said, if you're doing something to help people in Savannah, I'm going to do whatever I can to help you. She'd come and sing and share wisdom and love. And I had no idea how connected I was to her for those first two years of going to Christ Church. I had no idea that that connection was there. What am I saying? We are connected in more ways than we know. Sometimes we need to look a little deeper. I wasn't going to a church where I didn't know anybody. I was going to a church where I was connected to everybody. This week, we're going to be looking for our connections and seeing them and seeing that they've been there all along. And all we have to do is see. I love you.